Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. How sweet it is as the Florida Panthers sweep the home and home with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Winning Saturday in a dramatic fashion. Last minute goal to tie it late in the third. And we win that game in the shootout period with the only goal in the shootout. Then, yesterday, we went in again the last minute. This time we win in the last minute as Ekblad scores with 20 seconds left as Florida hang, hangs off that one, one to nothing. Lou, the big shutout. He was outstanding in last night's game. Really shaky in the game on Saturday, though. But the team bailed him out. A couple of key things, though, that I did notice is we really did pass a lot in the last couple of games. We just passed way, way too much. Too much backhand passes, just too much passing on the power point, stuff like that. Again, the best rebound, the best assist, a shot. What am I trying to say? I don't even know. But the best pass in hockey is a shot. A shot on net. It clearly is, because you're going to get a rebound, you know, and you can tap it in. I know Huberto is, you know, a playmaker and all that, but you can still make plays by making shots on the net. And Huberto just passes just way too much. He had some glorious opportunities. The score last night, and he passed it. He just passed it. It's like, come on, Huberto, shoot the puck. You know? Yeah, we, and we got badly outshot last night, too. It was like, I think, um, 39 to like 20 or something. Like, crazy like that. So we, we just need to put more pucks on the net. And good things happen. You shoot the puck, more good things happen. Um, the other thing I want to point out, too, is uh, there's this guy on um, Twitter, one of the Tampa Bay beat writers or something like that. I'm going to post this tweet right now. And he was saying that, like, oh, uh, win for the Panthers and for all six fans in the stands and then they're throwing stuff on the ice. Yeah, real classy move, bro, real classy. Right, and I'm not going to stand for it when a, another team's writer or even the president, if the president of the United States bashes my Florida Panthers, you're going to get ripped a new one. I don't care who you are. And, and like, you know, Doug got involved, Steve Goldstein got involved and all that. Of course, a ton of Panther followers did as well. But, like, come on. And then he apologizes. But he still keeps the tweet up. Like, don't feel, be sorry for something that you tweet. And then still keep the tweet up. Again, it's probably because it was getting a lot of retweets and a lot of comments. And he's causing controversy or something like that. Like, whatever, dude. Whatever. Like, people, you know, some people say let it go and all that. I can't let it go. If you're going to bash my team, I'm not letting it go. I don't care who you are. I will not let it go. I will not stand for my team being bashed. Okay? So, there's that. Again, huge, huge sweep against Tampa Bay. We really mentally need this. Barkov came back. Uh, Kulikov got injured on Saturday, which kind of hurts. But big thing is Barkov's back. It definitely seemed to somewhat lift the team. But like I said, we just got totally outshot. Pretty much outplayed for most of the game. Um, but it's definitely good to see Barkov back in the lineup. Hopefully Kulikov won't be out too long. Uh, maybe hopefully he can be back by Thursday, if not by Saturday. That'd be great. Uh, but like I said, it's just huge. Mentally, mentally huge that they took both games against Tampa Bay. We are currently uh, a point behind uh, Detroit, two points behind Ottawa, for second and third, respectively, in the division. So, and again, we have a waiting game, two games, well, you know, a lot for the next two days, and we play Anaheim on Thursday. We have to get revenge on them after they just squeaked out that win against us, which we should have won that game. 
So, uh, but good to see, good to see. Um, so again, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you after the Anaheim game.